So um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to today's Harmonize to Energize. And a particular warm welcome. Well, warm welcome to all of you, wherever you are in the world. And uh, welcome to anybody who's new to the art of Jin Jin Jitsu. My name is Terry Matthews. Um, I used to work for Mary Burmeister Jin Jin Jitsu, which was also called uh, JSJINC. I worked with them until recently, um, just over 20 years, and had the opportunity to learn um, from Mary Burmeister on occasion and from many other people connected to the organization, which I'm very grateful for. But now I'm flying free. <laughs> so, um, but I enjoy teaching, um, self-help. So this is really what Harmonize to Energize is about. It's helping us harmonize energy blockages in our body. And Jin Shin Jitsu does that by <clears throat> understanding that we have energy pathways in our body related to our organ functions and also related to the invisible layer, the causal layer of what lies beneath. And we can adjust how energy moves between these two platforms, these two dimensions, if you like, the causal level, the invisible level and the effect level um, by tweaking um, what we call safety energy locks. Now, different to acupuncture, you tend to have um, very small points. Our energy locks are the, the width of the palm of our hand, um, our individual hand. And there's 26 of them, left and right of our spine, and on our arms there are three. And by placing our palms, the back of our hands, or our thumbs, or our fingers, on these energy locks, we can encourage them to allow energy, chi or ki as it's sometimes called, or actually it's a light at one level, it's a gas at another level, let's just call it energy, to move through these energy pathways as congruently as possible. And this will help transform blockages, which by and large are created by our emotional responses to um, our life, our attitudes. Um, Mary Burmeister did talk about other things that can affect us, the weather, food, the company we keep, yes, um, all this, but by and large, it's always our emotional response to what we're dealing with that can actually create harmony or disharmony. And when we harmonize, we can feel more energy in our body to move forward in a, a positive spiral, a positive direction. The universe thrives on, my understanding is, um, the universe thrives on positive spirals. And these spirals of energy are infinite and they move through us into the energy locks and beyond into energy pathways to the cellular level and then back again, um, surface, middle and deep, skin to bone, <clears throat> bone to skin. So last um, time, I think it was last week, we began exploring the concept of the subdivision of the fingers into what we understand to be the areas affecting the bust line, the waistline and the hip line. And Jiro Marai, who was the, the master that taught Mary Burmeister, did so much research over the years. Plus, I'm told he was highly clairvoyant. He worked out that you can affect these three dimensions of the body, bust line, waistline, hip line, by just tweaking sections of our fingers, sections of our toes, and relationships between different safety energy locks, the ones going down the front of the body and the ones going up the back. And I've got a chart which I ought to um, show you. 
Well, I will. Here is um, the division of the body. Hmm. Didn't mean that to happen. What happened there? <laughs> all right, okay. Um, you can probably all see that. In terms of the safety energy logs moving down the front of the body, we can look at them in those subdivisions of bust line, waistline, and hip line. So beginning at the top of the head, we have that safety energy lock 20. It's slightly covered by um, a message box, but it's safety energy lock 20 on the forehead, safety energy lock 21 here on the cheeks, and safety energy lock 22 under the shoulder. <laughs> shoulder girdle <laughs> um, and then so on and so forth the arrow points down we go down to other subdivisions based on descending safety energy locks all the way down to the feet and then we go up the back um, with safety energy locks that um, encourage an inhale so can you all see that so I thought um, what we would do is begin at heaven and move to earth. And um, we'll connect to earth as we do through the four sets of nine exhalation inhalations from safety angel lock four, which is on the chart there at the occiput, all the way down through the 15, which is at the front, um, and the seven, which is on the descending. We start at the four at the back because apparently that's what, that's a, a window that lets in more energy. And there are two major centers in the body that allow energy or light or whatever form it takes according to the dimension it comes from. There's the fours and then there's between um, the 15 and the umbilicus. Uh, that's another energy center. Some people know it as the Tao center, Dantian. Um, Ming Men. Anyway, <clears throat> this is what we're going to do today. We're going to work with safety engine lock 20, 21, and 22. And if you remember last week, I, I suggested that Mary taught because she wanted to ensure that energy moved all the way down the front, we could begin, as it were, at the hip line with an escape route so that the energy does arrive at the feet and doesn't get blocked at the bus line or the hip line. And so she would begin a session holding the 15s with the six or the 15s with the three, because 15, as it is sitting halfway between the head and the feet, is a bridge where three major pathways, the liver, spleen and kidney, ascend. Uh, the regeneration flows and that also brings the energy of 13 and 14 down through the ones all the way down to the feet so in the same way as we're going to work with 20 21 and 22 i'm going to suggest that you start with 22 because that's further down from the head and you know being stuck in the head too much can be disharmonizing I mean, those of you that may be psychically clairvoyant, have an, an active third eye, will probably do a lot of work in safety energy lock 20. However, safety energy lock 20 pulls a lot of energy from the kidneys, um, which is safety energy lock 23, which is around the, the waistline area. So we really have to be mindful of how we draw energy down as well as bringing it up. Is that making some sense? Because too much up here will drain the kidneys. Too much up here will drain um, the digestive system as a whole, the 21s, part of the stomach flow. And 22, um, too much accentuation there could um, accentuate some um, disharmony and disturbance in the heart and lung area. So we, you know, in Jin Chin, we always hold energy locks in pairs. And today we're going to hold them 
both the same, which is really following the line of the supervisor, which are congruent lines that go down the left and the right side of the body. Um, often we would also use opposites, four and 20, 21 and four, something like that, which follows more of a mediator approach, which can harmonize both sides of the body in one go. Well, we can also do that with holding both safety energy locks, both numbers at the same time too. We're just um, using the supervisor relationship, okay? All right, so let's just stop sharing. And um, for those of you who are completely new, I like to practice all these um, self-helps using the 36 breaths, four sets of nine. Mary based her understanding on many levels and relationships, but the 36 breaths in particular relates to numerology. Three and six is a nine, and a nine in numerology means end of a cycle, beginning of a new. She also um, would look upon each step as we move down from the first set of nine to the last set of nine or the fourth set from different dimensions, frequencies and vibrations. So she would talk about the first set of nine would be eighth depth, which would be source uh, from where the light becomes um, concentrated into a dot. And then the seventh depth where the light dissipates, spreads out. And then the sixth, day, sixth depth where it <clears throat> comes together again, concentrates again into the body as the spine, as the main central. And then the third depth as the main central energy communicates with liver essence or the essence of the liver and gallbladder energy um, or the key energy as Mary would call, which begins the order of creation, which we discussed a few weeks back, which basically means the creation of all the organ function energy flows as um, the liver flows, it creates lung, large intestine, heart, etc. But it doesn't actually manifest itself until after it's created all the organs. Anyway, so we're going to we're going to begin holding the two twenties, which are either side of the um, forehead there. Then we're going to go to the twenty ones. You can see my red dot there um, under the, <laughs> underneath the cheekbones, and then the twenty twos under the girdles, shoulder girdles. So just um, touch in there, 20, 21, 22, become acquainted, connect. And as we do this, be very mindful of the environment in which you're gonna to begin to do this practice. Stun your cell phones, um, be as least distracted as possible if you can be. Um, Maybe put the cat out with the milk bottles as they did in the Flintstones, unless, um, of course, your cat or your, your favorite animal is feeling very docile and, and already feeling that the time has come to rest. So least distractions. And as we connect, we're not only connecting with our individual safety energy locks, we're also connecting with the whole group. We're in an energy field which we live, breathe, and have our being. Um, there is no um, split. You know, we, we're in a unified whole. There's no separation. And sometimes our mind creates that separation because we live in a dualistic world. And our thoughts and our judgments create contrast and comparison. But in Jin Chin Jitsu, we're not looking to compare or contrast. We're looking to blend into wholeness, into oneness. And the spine can represent that idea of drawing our energy into oneness. And the supervisors can represent left and right duality, left and right sides of the body. Um, and we get acquainted with them, but we must remember, or we can remember, 
that they're just divisions of a greater whole. They're not the big picture. They're just subdivisions, like what we're doing here. Um, and you know, seeing the bigger picture <clears throat> is a much more complete way of connecting with the energy. Um, <clears throat> if you want to examine every tree in the forest, go right ahead. But in that examination, don't forget the forest that holds them all together. So energy moving in, as I said, from the four at the back, so tangent lot four, through the 15 in the groin, to the seven. No matter where we place our hands on the safety energy locks, that is where the energy will move. It's just that as we do this, we're accentuating the movement of energy, focusing it here. So if there's any particular blockages there, there or there, it will focus more finely like a laser. But we still want the energy to move through to go to Earth. Um, and return on an inhale. So we exhale down the front and we inhale up the back of the body and that represents one breath. So I'm gonna start with my 22s. I'm gonna place my thumbs actually under my shoulder girdle and my fingers can go over one another, palms like this, or they can connect like this, whatever's comfortable um, for you. I suggest you sit up as straight as you can, close your eyes. And just this represents a lung um, opening, by the way, in acupuncture. And in Jinshin Jitsu, it connects to 144,000 um, special function energy. So just connect there, just become acquainted. I'm using my thumb, you can use your fingers. You can use your back of your hands if you want, palms of your hands. This is just be as comfortable as you can. And we're sitting up straight. And as we exhale, remember from the four, we're just going to allow that energy to go down the front, dropping our shoulders. And as it comes to the 22, which is a representation of the hip line, we can be aware that the energy wants to move down, down through the hips and all the way down to the feet. So let's do this for nine exhalation inhalations. Here we go. Oh, no, diff no particular way of breathing out and in. In other words, through, um, breathe out through the nose or the mouth or both together and in through nose or mouth, both together. Let us begin. And as you receive the breath, it's a natural reception of the energy. The cycle begins again on the exhale. And you may notice, because 22 in this relationship is relating to hip line, maybe other safety energy locks related to the hip line are becoming active. The 15s may start being active. Maybe the fives. So let the shoulders sink down through the hip line to the feet. Letting go of 
what you no longer need and receiving cosmic purified energy 360 degrees revitalizing the energy centers of the spine and then the spinal nerves connect into the energy pathways and then to the cellular level And of course, the 22, 144,000 special functions. Don't ask me what those 144,000 special functions are, because I don't know. But I know there's many, or at least five, <laughs> in uh, textbook two, for those of you that are practitioners at the back of the book. And as you're letting go, hopefully your heart is plus line here, becoming calmer and thoughts becoming less. Emotions becoming more peaceful. More peaceful is always good. If you notice the connection to the earth through your feet, you can. It's um, good to do this exercise barefoot. And if it's appropriate, outside on grass or in soil, it really connects you to Mother Earth, all that sense of groundedness. And uh, you may have already completed your nine exhalation inhalations. And if you do, have just sit with wherever you are and observe how you are feeling, maybe what you are feeling. But just witness it. Don't attach any judgment to it. Be aware of it. And perhaps you have felt a sense of expansion, or perhaps you haven't. Maybe you have realized that this safety energy log 22 needs more help in the future. So you can either choose to stay on this safety energy log the next nine exhalation inhalations, or you can move up to either safety engine 21 or 20. 
If we move to 20, it gives the energy a little push down um, and 21 also. But just to um, <clears throat> demonstrate the push pull, I'm gonna go to the 20s now. It's up to you what you will do. And we'll begin again. If holding both at the same time is a little difficult for you, um, just take one hand away and hold 120 for a few breaths and then hold the other one. Otherwise, give yourself some support. Hold the 20s, exhale. This opens up the pineal gland and don't be concerned if you see lots of images. This is a gateway to different dimensions. Eternity is how it's described. And you may see images, planets, stars, universes. Or you may not. It's all okay. So the 20 here being a subdivision of the bus line. Maybe you feel some sensations, 13 area, or high one, or the pad of the foot, or the sevens. Notice if there's connections being made or not. It's kind of magical that even though our bus line is above the waist, we can connect to its frequency below the waist. It gives that whole concept of a whole body breath, a wholeness, a oneness, more credence, more credibility. And we're listening for pulsations, tingling sensations, where we have our fingers or thumbs. This tells us that the energy is moving between these points. It's the blood pulse and the blood follows the energy. So when you feel that, you know there is communication between these safety energy locks. And this is the start of further deepening, clarification, purification, opening, opening us up to the special qualities of safety energy lock and the bus line.
So letting go and receiving. And again, as you come to the end of the cycle of ninth exhalation and emotion, you can just pause at that point and observe how you feel. And if one of your arms is aching, drop it. Place it in your 15 groin area, perhaps. And if the other one is aching, drop that one too. You're bringing the energy down to the hip line and grounding it. And again, just observe how you feel. Like I mentioned, this is the area where you can get a glimpse maybe of eternity. The third eye, it's often called pineal gland, opens up and allows us to see other dimensions. And I think it's a very healthy uh, part of our psyche to be able to know that there is more than what we might see with our two eyes. That third eye gives us knowledge, the opportunity to observe something more eternal than we may be used to, something less bounded than we are used to. Different frequency and vibrations. Um, and if you like Star Trek and things like that, seeing planets and stars and maybe a few spaceships, who knows, dragons, it's kind of fun. It's where a lot of our inspiration comes from, our creativity, ideas. You kind of draw them in, come in through the fours and formulate into the twenties. You know, oh my gosh, it's like a cinema screen. Okay, the next safety energy lock is 21, releasing um, us from mental bondage. And, you know, we often lean on our cheekbones, um, sometimes when we're tired, sometimes when we're disinterested, bored. And this will actually pull the energy that's stuck in the, the brain down. It's a descending safety energy lock. And clear the space. And our eyes may become a little brighter. Because again, the 21s are descending and they're pulling energy down from the forehead, from the eyes down here. Part of the stomach flow, a face flow, which helps us balance our emotions. So another set of nine exhalation inhalations. Good energy locks to hold to release the waistline. And um, sometimes you see um, folks who may have what you might describe as chip, 
chipmunk cheeks. So there's an expansion in the cheeks. Holding 20 once can help that release because it's a waistline condition. There's probably some congestion in the spleen or the stomach or one of the digestive organs. So, <clears throat> spleen and stomach being of the earth element will help us ground. So perhaps you're feeling some activity in the feet or the toes. That will show you how well the energy is moving down to ground. And as we inhale back up, through to the fours and down again, we complete that circuit down the front up the back. Mary would say this is where we mostly get stuck in life, the waistline representing man or the mind or the ego self. It's not that it's um, bad or anything. It's just that um, we tend to limit ourselves by believing that my ideas or my thoughts, my mind, my intellect, rather than expanding to the point of knowing that we're just part of the bigger whole, the universal intelligence, which is flowing through us without boundaries. The mind is a great processor. And I believe it needs to step out of the way for your soul, the universal energy that wishes to come through and enlighten your individual unique intelligence, nervous system, body parts, and really assist you to become a much broader feeling, thinking, being, a child of the universe rather than the child of whatever your address is. Fear stops us from becoming more enlightened. False evidence appearing real, as Mary would say. We do not trust that the universe has got our back. It's a journey. And eventually we realize, just like the words on that 60s song, even the bad times are good. It's not Pollyanna. It's just the magnification of our consciousness to see the purpose of the experiences that we have. It takes us out of mental bondage, number 21. Okay, very good. So as we feel more released there, we'll end the cycle. The full set of nine by going back to the 20 the twos again, making sure the energy is going down. And the fingers against the side of the shoulder <clears throat> blade there, the proverbial hug. Give yourself a hug. And just connect soul, heart, mind, and body to Mother Earth the feet, 
and then regenerate back up the spine, earth to heaven. And see if you notice a greater width of wholeness, a greater breadth of consciousness. Ideally, you're not the same person you were 27 breaths ago. And don't worry if you're not hearing, feeling those pulsations where your hands are. It's a journey and sometimes we just have to play a little longer. Who knows how long the signals have not been transmitting well and felt blocked, who knows? So we're kind with ourselves. Um, we show ourselves compassion. And Shinjitsu is an art of compassion after all. Compa compassion comes from the bus line, heart area, soul level. And as you <clears throat> relax into the ninth exhalation inhalation, just sit where you be, feel where you are energetically. And remind yourself that we're all connected and we're all one, connecting to one another in this field of energy, in this dimension. Some say at this dimension, we're at the third dimension. When we hold our different energy locks, we may move through different dimensions. Fourth dimension, the transcendent, particularly when we go beyond our thinking. Fifth dimension and beyond. But for now, we're happy to connect back to the third dimension. And see how you all feel. And as I have been apt to do in the last few weeks, months, maybe, an inquiry. Has anyone celebrating or celebrated a special occasion this past week or even today? A birthday, something like that. Um, if anyone has a birthday, um, do wave your hand and let us know. I believe we've moved into the constellation of, of Virgo. So if we have any Virgos amongst us, 
for anyone who feels they're very hurt going, um, please fess up, please confess. Um, and then we will um, offer you a group energy blessing with our jumper cables. So I don't hear anything and I don't see anything in the chat room. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so good enough. Does anyone have a particular project they're working on that they would like um, to feel the group energy a little bit more focused on that particular project? Every day is a birthday. Yes, Yona. Well, that's good to know. Ah, okay. So, Yona. Yes. Where are you, Yona? Um, I'll have to find you. Would you mind showing yourself? No, I'm not fit for human consumption right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll, um, I'll bring you in, but it'll just be your name. Here we go. Um, I, I, can I just add one thing? Uh -huh. I've decided to walk away from all of the mainstream medicine I've been doing and just focus on Jin Shin Jitsu and other, other energy practices. So there okay. you go. Um, for some reason. I don't know what's happening here. Then things happen. Now, maybe I can get you. Hmm. Well, it just so happens, Jonah, that for some reason I can't get you to show on the screen. I don't know why. Very odd. Anyway, folks. Um, Yona, um, can you sit with your hands in your lap in your 15s? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. Um, and everybody else, can we all connect little finger to little finger all around in a circle, all around a hat? And we're going to offer our jumper cables remotely using palms, fingers, 26 safety energy lock, source energy, to Yona, who is at the moment um, experiencing symptoms of long haul COVID, correct? <clears throat> Yona? Yeah. So. Yes, yes, yes. So we don't have her picture, but we have her name. So we'll connect to the energy and vibration of Yona. Yona Gershita, or just Yona from New York. And just bring that vibration of wanting to serve Yona into your heart. And then from your heart, the energy goes into the jumper cable to Yona, the heart of compassion. So breathe out. Drop the shoulders, relax, and just as you inhale, allow the energy to come up and then through you to Yona. Let us begin.
allowing the energy to spiral through you, through the energy field of the group, which of course includes Yona, with a particular focus on her energy field, offering a service to harmonize. Show us the harmony. And sometimes that safety engine lock 20 will show us maybe where the harmony is needed most. Some of you may have medical intuition, clairvoyance. Just allow the energy, whatever you're being shown, no judgment, the energy will go where it sees it needs to go, where it feels it needs to go. And this is how you would generally treat someone with Jinshin Jitsu, this unjudgmental, non-judgmental position of allowing the universal energy to go through you to them and back again in a loop. We are not the doers. We are simply <clears throat> the channel through which energy can move, live, and have its being. And as a little tip, you know when you're not over-involved. The clue is you feel very peaceful in your heart. You're not trying to do anything. You're just allowing peacefulness. All right, I'm getting a feeling that um, my jumper cables want to settle into my lap. And now we can just say, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to serve Yona. And just sit in the energy field. How was that, Yana? Oh my God. Wow. Um, I just had so many physical sensations throughout, tingling and then certain kriyas and yawning and coughing and all kinds of stuff was going on. It was like a, a whirlwind adventure. But I also feel very, um, very peaceful, very calm. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this goes later today. Sure. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Yes. Um, so, everybody, um, thank you indeed for. Um, serving Yona like this and every week there will be an opportunity even if I have a mystery guest I'm plumbing for more <laughs> I'm putting the word out for more mystery guests and uh, 
please do write to me at um, harmonize to energize at gmail.com or h2e. Um, I think you all know it. If you would like to come on and share, because I know some of you have some lovely stories. You do. Um, and I would be delighted to host you one week. Um, anyway, I've put the email there, h2energize.gmail.com. Um, um, from um, next week, as I said earlier, maybe some of you weren't here um, on the hour, but I'll be using my own um, Zoom setup um, as from next week and my own um, YouTube page. This will be the, the last um, session which will go on the Jin Shinjitsu um, official YouTube site. And um, I will send you a new Zoom link and we'll take it from there. The format will be pretty similar. It's just a, a different administrative move now. And um, so I hope you'll all uh, join me at the next stage of my expansion, as it were. Um, I'm always very, very grateful to you for supporting this work. Um, to me, it doesn't feel like work. It's actually more like play. Um, but anyway, um, yes, Yona, indeed. <laughs> um, so thank you. I hope you all have a um, wonderful week. Oh, I suppose I... I forgot to show you what's going on in the Jinshin world. Let's do that quickly. There's a class coming up. Oh. Hmm. Well, anyway, there is a class coming up in October. <laughs> the Art of Being a Practitioner with Sarah talent, uh, in Talent, Oregon. All the information is there and you can register today. Debbie who often co-hosts with me for the two hour webinars um, and Carrie are gonna be your organizers. And here again, there are the links for um, if you've missed anything and you'd like to catch up. All right. I was hoping there would be um, an ad for uh, our newest instructor, Susie Plattner, who's gonna be doing um, the two hour webinar next Saturday. And I will be hosting her alongside Debbie. Rappaport from Talent. And so the ad is clearly not up, um, but I will put an ad up now as I can see there's a need. But she will be teaching us, I think it's um, reversing and increasing of the depths, but I'm not absolutely certain, but um, it'll be up. So join us for that. Um, and again, thank you, everyone. Um, <clears throat> it's always a pleasure and a privilege to. Uh, work in the energy field with um, all the different people from around the world. So have a good rest of the day and weekend, and rest of the week. Um, be, <laughs> I mean, I could say be safe, be this, be that. Um, just be, be who you are. Um, and, um, Bless you. Okay. Here we go.